Welcome back, I'm Jay, we got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show, thank you so much for joining. Please like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. And mm -hmm. today we are talking about your picks. Your helmets, this is episode 42. We want to see your helmet pictures, so email your best photos to picks at greengridiron.com. And if you make it on this show, you'll get a decal and maybe even a t-shirt for free. Yeah, if you have to knock it out of the park for yeah, sure. It happens. Um, but if we feature you and we talk about what you've sent in, we're gonna send you a link, I think, to a free decal. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So I talk about the helmets and I kind of approach this from the angle of my opinion about how your helmet is set up. And then Steve here is a professional photographer. He looks at it and he gives tips and tricks on how you can take better photos so you can show your world, mm -hmm. your stuff, even if it's a picture of your dog. We'll help your Instagram and Facebook game. Tick, and TikTok, Steve. Tick, TikTok, TikTok game. That's so we got uh, about 11, maybe 12. We'll see how the time goes. And we're going to jump right in. You ready? Let's do it. First up is Myron. Myron. Wow. We're going right out of the gate here. Nice pics. This looks nice. And this is... This has got to be a professional it's, camera. Yeah, I, I mean, think, maybe not a professional camera, but this is a this is a real camera. This isn't a cell phone. It's somebody who knows what they're. Oh yeah, no doubt. And it's, I mean, it definitely has a warming filter on it, which I'm not a huge filter guy, but this looks nice. And because it goes with the red and the overall look and well, feel. Well, maybe uh, Myron has watched videos our videos before and knows that I like the blown out. Yes. Massive bokeh in the background, almost so far, like you're zooming in here and he's got the focus on like the front of the face mask. So even like the, the bumper or the stickers, yeah. the decals on the helmet are a little bit blurry. I'm calling 2.0 F, maybe F 1.8. We've got the 1896. That's a transfer decal. Yeah. That shows a level of uh, attention to detail that, that, that I love. You know what, Steve? I'm going, because of all these little things, I'm giving this one a pick right out of the <laughs> gate. Ah, so nice. We, so, who, Myron, you have a t-shirt coming your way. I love everything about this helmet. So you are going to be getting a, an email with a link for a free t-shirt. Man, right out of the gate. I love it. I love it. Thanks, man. All right, next up, Johnny. Oh, this is cool. So Johnny here has, a, has several things going on that are very legit. He has uh, 3D bumpers. He has the correct color face mask. Now, this face mask is the old... Uh, Dan Marino color, right? Yeah. Well, Dan Marino wore, oh, both, wore the, both. The, the light color and the dark teal, so we call this color aqua. There's also the dark color that's in their stripe. That's the teal that they've worn as well. To me, this is... I, I prefer this look. I, I like teal. this face mask color on this helmet, and it's with the new... Uh, updated or current logos on the side, but he's got the matching uh, warning label. Um, you start letting NFL teams wear mm -hmm. colored chin straps and things could get out of hand pretty quick. And there's a lot of things that probably wouldn't work. Oh, I know. It'd get... Some teams, I mean, you imagine like the, you know, the Vikings with a yellow chin strap maybe or something like that. Overall, I think it's really cool. I've always been a sucker for the colors of the Dolphins. I think it was a good choice going with the orange chin strap. It would have been better if it was unbranded, but. I'm gonna give this one a pretty high score. Not a pick. I'm gonna yeah. go with an 8.8. .8. Hey man. Overall pretty good. Not Throw a visor in there you want, if you want some extra points because that mm -hmm. visor would take it up a notch for sure. Thank you, Johnny. Next up is Zach. Zach. So we have a color scheme that I love. It's the white with the Seattle blue. Yeah, the pictures are not outstanding. They're good enough to make the show, but it's like he shot this in total darkness with just a flash. Okay. I don't know. Maybe he was trying to go dramatic, and it is cool, and you still made the show, but, mm, you know. <laughs> Vengeance helmet, not bad. Vengeance face mask, that's fine. I, to me, the everything about this helmet that's positive is... The color scheme. I mean, the, the yeah. white and blue. I love color schemes that just have two colors, and all of these colors match. So, challenge, or they match pretty close. You can see the chin strap from Sports Star mm -hmm. is the one thing that's a little bit off from the decal and the face mask. But other than that, everything matches pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty mm -hmm. damn good. Yep, so I could say, sure, uh, you know, a tinted visor would be a little bit nicer, but you got an Oakley visor. It looks like an Oakley visor, and there's certainly got Oakley clips. You know, we now, Steve, have all of the unbranded Under Armour 
face mask or visor clips oh, yeah. in stock. Right now we have that color Seattle blue, we call it Seattle blue. Look at that. So that would be one more thing to match. You could also go get away with white on this one for sure. Oh yeah. Um, so we have people who have asked about that all the time. If you have been looking for unbranded clips, we've got them now. And we got them. But when stuff starts selling out, we might not ever have them again. This is cool. I mean, you know, it's not the most desirable style and all that stuff, but I'm with you, Jay. The color scheme is really nice. Hey, you made the show, man. That's all that matters. Yep. I'm going to give this guy a 6.2. Okay. Hey. Middle of the road. It's not bad. Yeah. But Zach, <laughs> thanks so much for sending that in. Next up, Silver. Silver. Mm. Interesting name. Mm -hmm. Silver. Got the name on the back of the helmet. Sure does. Can't lie. I like seeing the names on the back of the helmets. It's something that uh, lacrosse does. He's got this thing. Regularly. He's got this thing frosty, man, out in the snow. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where this is. Gotta be somewhere up north. He even put some snow up on top of it. With the, I like the 17 up on the flex it, portion. That's not by accident. So it's almost like with the 17 there, we've got a Clemson Tiger Paw on there. Uh, I'm assuming this is the maybe the Tigers or some kind of animal. I know there's a lot of teams that kind of glom onto those Tigers. Uh, we've got a Shock 1.0 visor with the new cam lock system that they've got. We've got a blacked out helmet, obviously. This is uh, cool. Yeah, everything about this looks pretty good. I like it. I like that it's out in the snow as well. I'm going to go with a... I'm going to go 6.9. I, I, why did I know you were going to say that, 6 .9. man? 6.9. Yeah? There you go, Silver. Hey, thank you very much. Next up, Quaid. Quaid? Quaid. Yeah, sure, Quaid. One photo, two helmets. I don't know much about that face mask on the left, but I kind of like it. It's so weird. That's, so that's a Zenith helmet with a prowl face mask. I can't tell which helmet this is. It, I'm going to go, if I had to guess, I'd say it's an XT, sorry, an X2E. Or an X, sorry, an X2 Plus, maybe? Sure. Um, we've got branded Under Armour clips on both these guys, which is interesting because one of them has an Under Armour, no, I can't even tell. Yeah, I think that's an Under Armour visor on the Zenith helmet, and it's yeah. obviously an Oakley visor on the Riddell helmet, the uh, Speed Flex. The chin strap on the Riddell helmet. I'm not sure what brand that is. I wonder if that's one of the new Riddell chin straps. We don't have those in yet. I know that there is a new model out there. I'm not even sure what the name of it is, to be honest with you. I don't um, love it. It looks like we're a... Gonna, we're going to be adding it. I don't know if that's that's it or not, though. I don't love the look of that chin strap. I've been seeing the more... It kind of reminds me of like a pig nose. I don't know. It's not really a fan. Well, now that I see it, Steve, I don't know if I can unsee it. Yeah. I'm going to go, Steve, 6.3 average score i can't believe i'm guys. i can't believe i'm gonna say this but the helmet on the left i actually like a lot better that speed flex just looks weird to me it's well maybe it's the pig it might be it might be <laughs> thanks for the pictures sorry a boar uh it's, there you go it's a, a little wild more, boar. Little more manly wild boar yeah <laughs> uh next up is michael o we got a shock uh 1.0 visor we've got some red under armor clips FYI, if you guys haven't heard yet, we've got Under Armour unbranded clips available for sale now, and we have them in Scarlet, the same ones we ship off to the Patriots. Got them. Um, and this is a Patriots helmet, so if you want to match, that's the way to do it. Uh, so we've got a, uh, on the front, we have a 3D bumper. On the back, we've got a decal. So that's a little bit interesting. Um, and we've got a nice flag on the back. We've got a matching warning label, so you tore off the warning label that came with the helmet to put that guy on there. Good job. I'm going to guess that this one appears to be a collectible helmet that's going to have a, some upgrades. So obviously Absolutely. the face mask was upgraded because this is not a mask style that comes with a collectible helmet. This is the S2EG2 face mask. Um, so we basically what appears to be, to me, to be a collectible helmet that's come with a couple of upgrades. I but think good, you're right, good, man. Good, good solid upgrades for sure. Good, good choice with the visor. Just keep it classy if you want to say, you know. And the Patriots, I think, were the first team that did 3D bumpers. So try to get yourself a rear 3D bumper. They were the first team to do rear 3D bumpers. Yeah, yeah so. Good memory, Steve. Yeah. Try, try to get that going, man. You'll be all good. But nice photos. Good, smart, putting them against the blue. What are you giving Michael? I'm going to go with a 7.3 for this guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I feel like that's a little stingy. You think? I well, mean, I'm, that's assuming to me that this is a collectible out of the box. Okay. He's thrown on a 3D bumper, a face mask, and some clips and a right. visor. So. I see. I see. I see. But this is this is this is what we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, yeah. next up, Travis. He sent in two collages. He actually sent in a little bit more, but uh, you know, I didn't know what kind of time we'd have. I picked these two because I thought they were outstanding. We got some nice stuff going on here. I The first thing that I'm asking myself when I see stuff like this is, are these from the team or are these e either knockoffs or are they from, uh, you know, are they, just, are they just collectibles, you know, uh, licensed collectibles? There are pieces on here on both of these that are telling me that there at least are pieces of these that are not licensed collectibles. Right. Yeah. They could be from the team. I do not think we would see a battle chin strap or that type of Under Armour branded chin strap from the team. I agree. And the same thing with the visor clips. Now, that was clever. He wrapped them in that foil. Um, it's kind of neat, but. I mean, I've never seen anybody do that. That must have been a real pain. He said, thanks for buying some helmet hangers, man. I see them in there. Um, I'm going to give this guy, Steve, right for this? 8.8. .8. Man, the way average. you were talking. That's average. That's good. Yeah, I like it. Not like too it. bad. Go use. All right. <laughs> thanks, Travis. Next up is Robert. I'm pretty sure Robert has sent something in before because his backdrop looks awfully familiar. But check this helmet. That is a nice vices. So this is what I'm going to say about this helmet. I would not be surprised if this is a helmet that was used by Penn State in a game or multiple games. It came from Penn State. Um, the reason I know this is because I've we actually used to do some work with Vices. I've met a lot of the Vices uh, people and sales reps on the road, and I was informed by one of them that there were at least one. I don't know if there was more than one or not, but there were a handful of... Stolen hel helmets? <laughs> I didn't use the word stolen. This is to say that the helmets that were acquired from Penn State, uh, and this obviously smells like one of them. It's got a Penn State uh, branded chin strap on there. It's got all of the right little pieces to make me think, hey, this looks like something that uh, would have come from Penn State. And I think, I don't recall, Steve, but we actually made some visors i think for penn state with some logos on it i don't think this is one of them though i don't remember seeing this one yeah i don't think this is one of them it's a good looking helmet but you know see that cotton bowl sticker on the back yeah. like I'm, that's not a decal i wouldn't consider that a decal it's just, it's, a, it's thinner and you know usually those bowl uh stickers are thinner than the ones that are on the helmet uh so this is going to get graded a little bit differently than normal because i'm pretty sure that this one came from the team this is legit yeah. so um, I can't give it a perfect score or anything like that, even though it most likely is right. perfect, I guess. I'm going to go with a 9.5. Wow. Because it's, it's about as legit as you can get. I like that. It's almost it's not fair. All right, next up, Lee. It's getting cold out there, man. We're getting some snow pictures. And you, you, people who are putting or sending us pictures of their helmets outside in the snow, you're kind of pulling at Steve's heartstrings here. Right? Get it out there in nature, get that sunlight on it, or in this case, the bright light. Look at that American flag visor. That might be one of the best American flag visor pictures anybody has submitted. Yeah, those pictures are, it's difficult to take a really good picture of some of these visors because you got to get the light to hit it in just the right way or it just kind of looks dark. Yeah, and right? taking pictures out in the bright white snow, that's one hell of a way to get this flag to look good apparently <laughs> yeah so um, here's a couple things i'm curious about this one so you can see that the uh the color of the face mask is slightly different than the color of the decals yeah. right so yeah. this is a scarlet red face mask this is your standard color it's the exact same color that the new england patriots wear and if you were to and, and it is the number one color red that is sold for face mask but those decals are slightly different and i would almost say that the color of those decals looks to be closer to that wisconsin red than just a scarlet red. Uh, would be interesting to see. The, the only real way to know is you're gonna have to compare them side by side. You, you can't really tell in a photo. Um, right. But then we've got some San Fran reds and some, some a few other reds. But uh, that's an interesting thing to me. I would say, give us a call. If, if this is a helmet that, or a color combination that your coach, or maybe you're the coach, would be interested in matching exactly your decals with the face mask, we can we either send you. you a little chip um, to see if you can get that match. And if so, we can probably change the color of the face mask for you. It's cool. 
I like the award decals, yep. skull and crossbones. Yep. Good some, stuff. Some, some thought put into making sure that those are all kind of lined up just right. 27 so this, of them placed so, just right. So, so, this, so this guy, whoever has this helmet, is a little, little putting these together, a little anal retentive. Yeah. Which we like. I'm okay with that. That's a good thing. I'm going to go with a 6.7. Okay. And then this guy. Yeah, we're, we're, we're in a range today. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Next up, Gavin. All right, Gavin. So I'm seeing signatures. I don't know who. Go Tigers, Les Miles? It sure looks like that. Whoa, Steve, did you see that? Dude's got it on his head. So this is one of, it's got a, this has a video camera in it. Yeah. So this is an interesting thing. I find it highly unlikely that this helmet did not come from the team. So shut about back to four years ago, maybe five years ago, they were experimenting with putting um, video cameras in the helmets. There's a battery pack, I think is what is, is on the back, and then inside the helmet a wire runs underneath the padding to the battery pack. Hmm. And I think they used these for two years. They were pretty expensive, and I don't even know if they got to the point where teams were buying them or if it was kind of teams were helping use them in testing. I know that, you know, I don't think any NFL teams got some, but maybe they did. Yeah, really I'm going to give this one high marks. Signatures always seem to help, especially one that we can read like that. Yep. You know, super unique helmet here. Um, again, this is getting graded on a scale. It's being graded as it is what it is. Mm -hmm. This guy was able to get his hands on a pretty unique thing. That's going to be worth a lot of money someday, but I'm going to yeah. go with a 9.8. Damn, nice. I mean, there you can't you go. really get much better. You can't. That. Yep. And we got time for one but I'm a, more. I went to Clemson, so you know, there's you're losing uh, points for otherwise that. Otherwise it'd be a nine point nine nine nine. Yeah. We got time for one more and it is Miguel. All right, Miguel. Fantastic color scheme. A couple of little things jumping out at me right out of the gate that I would do a little bit differently. Steve? Black and white. Love the black and white. Yeah, it's great. Um, I like the black chin strap on this one. I think that that goes well. You want to see black buckles, though. I want to see white buckles. Oh, I want okay. to see contrasting buckles. I like the contrasting buckles. This one has uh, black and white in the visor clip, mm -hmm. but we actually have, we have like 20 pair. And when they're gone, we can't get any more. It's a white clip with a black logo on them. I know that those are going to sell out fast. Um, that would look really cool on here, yeah. as well as either a white, all white, or all black. I would actually probably go with all black on this one, or the, the white and black clips. Um, it's cool. I wish there were more pictures. You don't see many of the LTDs. Yeah, so, you know, great helmet. Uh, you could go black clips on this one, uh, face mask clips as well, because uh, it kind of has a black clip up at the top. Yeah. Uh, I love the transfer decal on the side. I don't so know how I... well that transfer decal would hold up in, in the use world. because it, it it looks to me like it might be a little thin. Oh, I'm like, sure. Like it not is. your standard 20 mil thick decal. It's cool. Huh, I'm going to go with a I'm going to go with an 8.8 .8 on this guy. Wow. Nice. I, I really like that look. I really like that too. There's just something so simple and clean and awesome about it. it looks aggressive, looks fast. Yeah. That's yeah. all we got time for. So if you didn't make it this time, don't worry. There's always next week. Or maybe you didn't send your photos in. So email them to picks at greengridiron.com. And you can be, feel free to be critical of myself and or Steve sure. in the way that we talk about these things. Did we miss anything? Leave your comments below and mm -hmm. let us know. And what kind of things do you want to see in the future when we're talking about this? Or what do you want to hear us talk about? Yeah. And maybe we'll mix some of that in there. So again, like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.